Ladies and gentlemen, this one is a, a quite highly anticipated, I believe. This is DJ Hiss. He put a DJ in front of it. That means it's going to be some real-ish. Real-ish. Grand B-Bucks Battle 2021 World League Showcase. I think we just go, man. Like the video. This was a donor request by the man, the myth, the legend, Poot Chicken Tendi, who says Esh in the chat. Thank you, Poot, Poot Chicken Tendi. Go. Wow. Support Hiss. Support Swiss. This intro is hard. Yes. So was this the intro to the show? Oh, it is. Look, they're running in. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's fire. This is how they started it. His microphone isn't working. Fuck the microphone. Bro. Imagine going to, to GBB, the doors open and then it just starts and you got you run in and hiss is there doing a set. Bro, that's the best. Hey, 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 like chapeau, Malt, chapeau for this. Yes, that it is a big done. Like respect. That's 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 how you pull off an intro, bro. That's the intro. That's that yeah, John Wick style. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the first minute and he's already popping off. DJ Hiss. It's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. He just did. You can roll like this. Bro. That's fire. That's fire. Yo, I need to listen to it. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. His is a perfect, uh, he's a perfect hybrid, bro. He's, he's beatboxer, but he's also producer. So this guy, he made this himself. He took Napalm, oh, it's right there at the bottom. He took Napalm's role like this. He made it, 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 like he remixed it to the point where I could bump this in my car and just. Oh. Oh, this is the. This is also napalm. Turn it up, turn it up. Yo. 
yeah, that one. Fire. <laughs> You're doing lip rolls. That's Hiss's beat, right? Is that Hiss's beat? Oh no, that's back to the old school. Oh, that's Unity. I, I swear that, that I thought that was Hiss's beat. He has a similar beat himself. Oh, that's Unity. I don't think I've heard that before. I don't think I've heard this before. The original. Is this codfish? Is this codfish? <laughs> it's so good. I got tear. Yo, editor, zoom in right here. I got, I swear, I got a tear in my eye. Oh, this is good. This is good vibes. That's what I'm talking about. BBK. Yo, Chin Chin, zoom in, zoom in. Hail close, hail close up my face. Chin Chin, get close to my face, bro. Closer, closer. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He just did that. Hold up, I think I saw Beat Pella in the crowd. Is that Wing? So BBK, that's Wing, then that's Hellcat. Hellcat and Wing, yeah? And BBK right there, yeah? Oh, that's dope. And the homies. Wait, are you there? Raz, are you there? No way. Where? Who? Bullshit. That's a master, that's a producer. I don't know this song, bro. I don't know this one. Something 
Ah, this is so unfortunate. Like, yeah, I get that, you know, y'all want me to see this, but I, I didn't know he was going to remix. I didn't know he was going to do remixes of, of all these wild cards and all these other artists. I didn't know he was remixing original pieces of other beatboxes. If I would have known, I would have first done all the original pieces and then this piece, man, because now it's like, I don't, I don't know these songs, so I'm sitting here going, I don't know this, it sounds great, but I don't know what this is. So imagine my reaction, what it would be if I would have known it and would have heard it then and oh, he remixes fire, but I don't know it. So that's kind of, kind of unfortunate, you know what I mean? Set is magnificent. Seka Yelly Town. I don't know this one. The passion. Where have I heard this? Where have I heard that? I've heard that somewhere before in an intro or something, yeah? I've heard that somewhere before. Did I react to it? Yeah? Oh, okay. His and Sinzo, okay. I don't know that. So for the people that don't know this here in the chat, when this will be posted to YouTube, you will already know what's coming on the on the pause. What's the, the GBB 2021? I will be doing. You all already have seen that I have dropped reactions together with Indicator. We both like reacted uh, GBB 2021, the 
battles and the loop stations, right? And there was a battle. It was his versus... Y'all have to remind me who his battled. That's one of them I watched. And his lost in the quarterfinals, I believe. Was it quarterfinals? It was like top something. River, yeah. I, I think River. River won. And I said in that reaction that his... I think because his is a, is like a hyper uh, no wait not hybrid artist a hybrid beatboxer to where he's I think he's gravitated way more towards production through his career and through his journey as an artist as a beatboxer himself right so and you can tell that in the battles of 2021 he was not coming with like battle material really you know what I mean compared to other beatboxers that were you know that were in fact could be possibly and i think this is because he's focusing more on the producer side and knowing this that he was competing with the in the battles while also providing the intro like the showcase here so that means that he already has to divide his attention and his energy in preparation to battles and an intro of a showcase a, a dj set which requires a lot of time and prep and i don't even know what other things he did did he do a tag team is he looping i don't know maybe he is you know maybe he has a showcase even i don't know if he does that right so then there's also that he's distributing his energy towards and usually the battler, the, the, the person that wins GBB, the battle, don't spoil, I haven't watched it yet. The person that wins the battle is the one who dedicated 100% of their energy, time, and focus to the battles. Those are the ones that w win. Because if you don't go 100% at these battles, bro, you ain't winning anything. You have to come prepared to these things. Even the ones who go 110%, it's not guaranteed you'll win. It's not guaranteed you'll get a top spot. You might have a bad contender, like a bad matchup for you, or they do rebuttal something and you just have bad luck with whatever, or you slip up, you know what I mean? So even, even coming prepared doesn't mean you're going to win. It doesn't secure your spot in the top. I think that's why he, you know, his focus was is, is divided. And that's fine because he's kind of, you know, he does all trains. Look at him killing it. He's bored for this, bro. Oh, man. Oh, we got Kenny. We got Chris. We got Saro. Who was the other guy? Was that, that Slizzer? Who's that? Is that BMG? Guys, I literally said, I literally said Chris. I said Kenny, Chris, Sato. The last guy is who I was talking about. The last, okay? I literally said Chris. The last guy was what I was talking about. You fucking dumbasses. <laughs> nah. Nah, 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 nah. You're not dumbasses. I'm just teasing. I'm teasing chat. I haven't heard this one before. Fire. Question. 
Does GBB have VIP tickets or is it like only crowd? I'm just curious because I like there might be like people to the to the side or something or is it all you, you you're in the crowd? Yeah. So what I asked was, uh, are there is there a VIP, as in you know behind the scenes or whatever you can you can uh, stand or whatever or is it all in the crowd? I don't know if you guys know. It's all in the crowd. Okay. They have backstage for artists. Okay. So these are all original pieces, yeah? Fire. Why does that remind me of something? Is that fun party by what's it called? No, uh, no, that, no, you just meant fun party. Isn't it? No, that's not knife party, is it? What is that from, bro? I've heard that melody somewhere before. What is it? Yeah, it's very hot in here. <laughs> it's 30 plus. It's hey, thank you, Mraz. Thank you, bro. Finally, his microphone works, bro, because in the beginning, I think they fixed it during the set. He was trying to say shit to people like welcome and all that. His microphone wasn't working. Look at that crowd. Look at the energy. Yeah. And then there's one dude with his phone. And the rest is just having a great time. Shout out to Mikey Hypercar! One, two, three, one more time, guys!
Exactly, Shoku. Bro, that sounds like Gene. Is that Gene? I'm not looking, I'm not looking. got another tear of joy right here i swear damn it's with codfish too Was that Reap's one? Was that Reap's talking at the end? Because I think there's an interview. Hi, my name is His. Thank you for watching my video. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Thanks. I already follow you everywhere, bro. On the streets and everything. No, I'm joking. I already follow this dude. I love this. I love. Look at this dude. I love this dude, man. Fucking fire. Y'all gotta show love. Uh.